Hello, welcome. Let's look at these uh, jump mathematics past question for 2018. Uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel so that you can be getting uh, learning materials to prepare for your jump. The jump is fast approaching, and in our channel, we we'll, uh, make a lot of lectures and past questions for you to learn. Very educating ones. So let's start with number one. Express the product of 0 0.00043 and 2000 in standard form. A. 8.6 times 10. B. 8.6 times 10 to power minus 3. C. 8.3 times 10 to power minus 2. D. 8.6 times 10 to power minus 1. So how do we solve this? want to get the product of this and at the same time put it in standard form so to get the product we have 0 0.00043 times 2000 so we are supposed to find the product of this now naturally if you want to multiply a decimal with a normal number like this you can say that this goes with this now this goes with this and this goes with this so that you now have only 0 0.43 times 2 and we know that 0 0.43 times 2 is the same thing as saying 0 0.86 so that is what we are left with now to convert 0 0.6 in uh, standard form we can say that this is the same thing as saying if you take this point here and go over by 1 you now have 8.6 times 10 to power minus 1 so 8.6 times 10 to power minus 1 that is the answer and that is why D is the answer and that's why I marked it in red so my answers are in red now number 2 simplify 2 sort 2 minus sort 3 that is the actual way it is written this is not there all over sort 2 plus sod 3 so that is what you are told to simplify now if you want to simplify any expression like this you must have to multiply the up and the down by the conjugate of the denominator so what is the conjugate of this denominator the conjugate is sod 2 minus sod 3 so once you have sod 2 plus sod 3 just change the the the, the sign it becomes a conjugate so you also multiply it down by the same thing so 2 minus so 3 so when you multiply out what are you going to have you have this times this will give us 2 because we have so 2 here and we have so 2 here so 2 times so 2 is 2 so we have 2 times 2 which will give us 4 now you will now do this times this this will give us what will what would that give us? What would this times this give us? Um, what would two sub two times sub two? What will it give us? So it's going to give us um, minus two sub six. Now we also multiply now. Uh, this times this sod 3 times sod 2 it will give us what plus sod 6 now uh, sod 3 times sod 3 will give us normal 3 so this will give us plus 3 so that's what we're going to have all over if you're multiplying two uh, conjugates you're going to have the first one squared minus the second one squared so the first one is so 2 so squared is going to be 2 minus so 3 squared is going to be 3 so that will now have 2 times 2 we give us 4 minus 2 so 6 plus so 6 plus 3 all over 2 minus 3 so 4 plus 3 is going to give us 7 minus minus 2 plus 1 so, so 6 so 6 is going to give us 3 so 
6 place this is minus so you're gonna be minus 2 minus 1 so minus 2 minus 1 is going to give us 3 sort 6 so all of our 2 times 2 minus 1 is minus 1 so if you bring this down it will give us minus 7 because of this minus plus minus times plus 3 sort 6 this is 6 so this is the answer so if you put this in another way you can have it to be 3 sort 6 minus 7 which is this b that we have as the answer so take note take note of this it is very very important now let's look at number three question we have g t if g t squared minus u minus w is equal to zero make g the subject of the formula to do this you can take the other things to the other side so that we have only the one you want to make the subject g t equal to take u over instead of minus u is going to be plus u take w over instead of minus w is going to be plus w so you can then divide through by t squared divide through by t squared so you have t squared cancel t squared so you have only g equal to u plus w all over t squared so that is your answer so here you have to u plus minus w this is actually supposed to be plus w all over t squared making b this answer now for this uh, number four question we have find the value of k if y minus 1 is a factor of y to power 3 plus 4y squared plus k minus 6 now whenever you are told that y minus 1 is a factor it simply means that y is equal to 1 because you take this to the other side it becomes 1 so now given given y3 plus 4y squared plus k minus 6 that is this so if you're putting the factors anywhere you see why you put 1 so you're going to have 1 to power 3 plus 4 bracket 1 squared plus k which you don't know minus 6 equal to 0 so that's how you do it now 1 to power 3 is the same thing as 1 plus 1 to power 2 is 1 times 4 4 plus k here minus 6 equal to 0 now take every other thing to the other side leaving only k so that therefore we have k to be equal to 1 plus 4 is 5 5 minus 6 is minus 1 so you have k minus 1 then take the minus 1 over to this side it becomes 1 so we have k to be equal to 1 so making the the answer to this problem please if you like this hit the subscribe button if you have any questions on this please drop it on the comment section please like our videos and share them and support us in any way that you can thank you and god bless you